question on that point about pupil admission numbers, uh, it is my understanding, but I'm very happy to be corrected, that if a school has a pan, a published pan of 60, and 45 parents put a first choice of that school, those 45 places have to be granted, and therefore they have to open two classes, even though they're only one and a half classes full. As a result, they end up with that shortfall in cash that he has outlined. Now, as well as the, some of the strategic planning powers I talked about for local authorities, does he think that there needs to be some sort of interim measure where perhaps the Department for Education provides some sort of additional funding or grant for those classes which aren't uh, full? Because certainly schools in my constituency are asking parents for money for glue sticks, for money to be in sports teams, and are cutting teaching assistance because they are struggling so much financially. David Simmons. Well, Mr. Holliber, the, the Honourable Member uh, makes a very good point, and of course, the converse of, of the situation where a school has uh, less applications than it has places is what we're also seeing, which creates additional pressure on places, where a school makes a decision as a result of that, that rather than maintaining a pan of 60 with 45 applications, that they'll reduce their pan to 30, which means you then have 15 children who want to be in that school, but who can't have a place and are put somewhere else in the system.